Hello, I'm back again. Um, please uh, endeavor to subscribe and like on this channel. <laughs> and like as we give basic piano tips there are basic things every pianist should know so uh, start, I've, I've come to start on the um, the really really basic stuff for beginners and really to break into the professional things and by now we break these things down you will actually see it's kind of very very simple so uh, a concept I'm going to share in the next uh, minute is called slash chords. Slash chords. So can you please hit the like and the subscribe button as we run this chord? You know, a normal chord is just a group of notes <coughs> together. When you put them on um, the harmonic, um, you, you have the scalar relationship. When you put there your one three five, you have your one four. Those are your chords. You now, when you call slash chords, slash chords is um, it's different from hardened chords. It's like it's you superimposing chords on each other. You get it? S superimposing, like you are placing a whole different chord on uh, another chord. Now, these chords actually, I call them. We call them. There's a uh, teaching that calls them. We call them slash chords. Um, not not really because. Uh, they are slashing anything but in simple terms just for people to understand slash chords all we are doing is some chords are very big especially 13 chords some 13 chords they are very big so when you what you do is you break them down into pieces into fragments that can stand as a whole different chords mostly we do that for majors major chords and uh no not major sorry uh, you can run a whole lot of chords with slash code. You see them as when you see something as B over G, you see something like that. But most times, um, we do them a lot. This is like the cheat code. It's like a cheat code. It's like a really basic way of if you can play the B chords. <laughs> and everything you can actually use slash code um uh way of playing it slash codes and you see they really sound awesome because these are little little tips i told you that we need to learn so let's get right to it just in a few seconds so let's say um i want to play okay we use majorly slash code. let me look for okay Okay, let's start with the major slash chords. It's major majors. All we are gonna play is on our right we play a power chord and on our left oh sorry, on our left we play a power chord. For people who don't know power chord, a power chord is a one five one. That's a power chord. So we can just play one five, then you double up that's a power chord. For people that don't know the sorry, this is tutorial be the key of C sharp or D flat. So um the number system briefly on C sharp you have your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have my one. So for example, if I'm gonna play a slash chord for this, slash chords are just major like they are, they are breakdown of bigger chords, mostly 13 chords. Now if I'm gonna play a slash chord on this, what I come back is I come back two semitones back. That is a, a tone back. So I'm gonna play the major chord major chord triad of b over over a c sharp uh power chord now this is example of a slash chord now this chord is nothing is is the uh when you want to name chord this is actually a c uh let's see this is this dumb this ninth eleven this is eleven chord for c Level, but we are playing it as a slash chord. So we are playing, so we are dominant. So we are playing dominant. This like this is a full chord on this one. This is another full chord on this one. So when you play them over, you know, they are they are what we call them it's the simplest way of this. When before I start playing advanced chord, this is like the first thing I learned, and it was really wonderful because. 
it will revision my playing it will revisionize it just give me new ways of playing it so I just, what I just did is I just move it up in whole tones in, se, in whole tones you should really learn how to move this in semitone from C sharp let's go up All I'm playing is just a power chord. Then I come back to semi and play the major chord. Do you get it? Power. Then I move it up. Now this gives like a pulling sound. Yeah. It's giving that suspense. If you are very, if you have a good head, you know it's a pulley sound straight to the one, straight to the one. It's, we use it mostly on the five. For we're gonna be talking about two five one. We use this shape majorly on the five. The five on C sharp one, two, three, is um, the five on C sharp is A flat or G sharp. So you have the power chord G E flat. Then you have you go back two semitones or a tone, you go back tone, that is from A flat G to F. So I play F major F sharp, sorry, F sharp make your chord. That is F sharp, B flat, then C sharp. So when I play that's my suspended chord. Now notice that this chord this sorry. Notice that this the, la the five year is as a string for now. So you can just put it. She be some lighter. Down here. But most likely we play on the five. We just sharp on the five. So we are going something like. That you can just play. I'll give you everything. I'll give you. Let's do it on C. You got? I'll give you everything. This is number one. Just the five, then you go back to semitones backward, F major chord, that's a slash back. You can also do it on the one. When you do it on the one, it gives you a strong pull back towards. Remember, it's a five one. We are still going to learn uh, two five one relationships. When you do, remember my five power chord on the left, left, that's a C, G. then I have, I go back to semitones back, I have my B flat, major triad, B flat, D, and F. So when I do it on the one, I have something like this, remember it still goes the same, back to the four. So let's go. These are little ways though. When I was starting to play advanced chord, these are the little little things. Um beginning I struggle a little like uh, when I used to struggle a little just slash curve. Yeah. Sim very simple, it's simple, it's simpler to know understand it dominant like this. Remember we are working with slash curve with the majors on the right. So let's go. We have learned these. Then back to tutorial it should be in C sharp but okay because majority play C 
So, um, okay, let's do it in soft shape. Okay? So, on C sharp, it's still gonna be. Yes. So, let's go there. So you can also use it on your two. But most like this sound is sound a bit. See let, wait, let's say on two. For some for blues players, you can actually go that. So that's the relationship. Let's 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 run it. We can also do it on a six. The six takes us to our two. So we have our. Oh, okay. Another thing you can do is invert it. Just did it now. So let's say a five. Okay, let's on a five. For me to invert this, let's say the first inversion. This is the same chord, so you can even use it. But people now wonder, oh wow, you playing this? Now get it? This is an inversion of this. You get it? Um, so that's one thing you can do. Remember, play the power chord, then come to same as well. You can even imagine still the same thing. Each inversion gets the tone, the melody, as if it's on the harmony on the song. So that's something you can do with um, slash chords, majors for now. Okay, you can do it. On <laughs> okay, yeah. You can even do it on your seven. Even your three. like and subscribe thank you